Hey folks, Country Prepper here. So I've been going through my bug out bag here recently because I'm going to do an update video on it here pretty soon. And I was just going through to make sure there wasn't something maybe I wanted to upgrade or something that needed to be replaced, whatever the case. And I got to thinking, I like to use a lot of as many multi-purpose or multi-use items as possible because it cuts down on weight cuts down on the bulk uh, you could possibly use a smaller pack and you know the the less stuff you carry the faster you can move or I should say the less weight you carry the faster you can move and so uh, you know you're trying to get away from danger trying to get away from a bad situation you want to be able to move pretty fast so I thought it would be a fun video to go over my top 10 multi-use bug out bag items first up is a no-brainer a multi-tool now the multi-tool is going to depend on where you live the type of environment that you're in maybe you need pliers maybe you don't maybe you need a saw maybe you don't maybe you need scissors screwdrivers uh, all those kinds of things I do want to say one thing I always prefer to have something with an awl on it just for gear repair but the type of multi-tool that you choose is completely subjective it all just depends on your preferences and like I said your environment next up is another pretty obvious choice duct tape now I prefer to wrap it around a bunch of different things. This is one little tip. The Fresnel lens usually comes with a little plastic sleeve on it. You can wrap it around there and then you're still able to get the Fresnel lens back out of there. So that's a good way. You could also wrap it around maybe an old expired ID like your driver's license so that you have an extra form of identification even though it's expired it still has your picture and all that on it uh, I, I try to use some different size different width of duct tape this is Gorilla Tape on this one and uh, wrap it around one of these torch lighters and so you have an extra source there duct tape can also be used especially Gorilla Tape can also be used as a fire starter but some people just like to take the center out of a roll of duct tape and just collapse it down and that works too but you're going to be carrying a lot of tape that way so I just prefer like I said to just wrap it around a few things that way I have it in multiple locations in multiple little kits throughout my bug out bag and that way it's just kind of handy wherever whatever pocket I'm in duct tape has so many uses from gear repair to first aid if you had nothing else available there are just so many uses for duct tape that I could not possibly uh, list them all but there are a lot of great videos out there explaining just all the different uses of duct tape and especially a survival situation next up is a ham radio communication is so important in an emergency that I thought this had to be on the list and I don't know if all ham radios have all of these features that mine do but the ones that I have all are able to not only communicate through radio waves but can also be used as a uh, weather radio and an FM radio and a two-way radio and so it's a multi-purpose item several different forms of communication if like it's a natural disaster you want to be able to listen to the radio and the weather channel of course or the weather station on here and I just think it's it's a really great item and it serves several purposes so I thought I had to be on the list next up is a shemog and this has so many uses again I could not possibly list them all but just for a few you can use it to cover your head if it's really hot and sunny out you can use it to wrap your head if it's really cold out it can be used to keep sweat off of sweat out of your eyes or you could use it for a sling you can use it to carry materials just there are a ton of uses for it those are just a few so I thought this really had to be on the list it's something that I keep in every kit I have one in each vehicle I just I keep them all over the place I have several of these so I thought it was a great item to have on this list next up is another no-brainer paracord it has a ton of uses not only can you use it for like a ridge line or for tying things together for setting up a tarp tons of different stuff you can also break down the inner strands and use as 
fishing line or just i mean there's just a ton of different stuff there's videos out there i think such made a really great video about how all the different uses for paracord especially in a for a survival kit or being an emergency things like that i actually prefer to carry this uh fire cord i believe it's called there's another brand uh ust makes paratender i think it's called but i like this stuff that has the extra uh waxed line in there that you can use for starting a fire it makes it even more multi-purpose uh titan has a brand called uh survivor cord i believe it's called and that one also has it has a waxed jute and it has a thin piece of wire that you could use uh you really couldn't use it for actually snares but you know wire has a lot of different purposes so uh, if you can afford it get the stuff that has all the extras maybe you carry uh just some mil spec stuff for uh you know things that you're if you're going to cut it up a lot stuff like that and you don't want to use up your expensive stuff that has all the extra goodies in it then you know carry an extra hank of mil spec paracord but make sure you get the good stuff don't buy the cheap stuff like at walmart or you know any of the big box stores get some good stuff guys next up is a military style poncho this can be used as a ground cover it can be used obviously as a poncho it could be used as a shelter it can be used to carry material if you had to carry some wood for a fire or some leaves for bedding or whatever the case may be this can be used for a ton of different things i actually roll mine up and keep the stakes right in with it that way i don't have to take the time to uh, carve stakes with my knife another option is probably my favorite this is the uh, breathable outdoor basics poncho from to go systems and that is a really great brand really high quality and uh, it's a little lighter well actually quite a bit lighter and it breathes so in the summertime this is the one i keep in my bug out bag in the summertime you can also snap them together if you have two of them like me and my wife do to make a bigger shelter or a bigger ground sheet if you needed to and so it's just a very versatile item uh, you can do much the same with the military style poncho if you get a couple of those uh, you could lash them together or uh, whatever you need to do to make a bigger shelter or whatever but there's just there's a lot of uses for something like this i think it's a good idea to keep in your bug out bag on that same note we're on to our next one is a 55 gallon drum liner or you know garbage bag uh the contractor bags the good heavy ones three mil you want to make sure you get the heaviest and biggest ones possible that makes them the most useful as they can be uh, if you had to you could uh, cut holes in this and make a makeshift poncho if you had to if you're not carrying an actual poncho with you uh, you could fill it up full of leaves and use it as bedding keep a little insulation underneath of you and a little bit of padding if you need to get some sleep uh, it could be used as a makeshift shelter uh, it could be used for a, a ton of different things and there again are videos out there on all the different uses for something like this Next up is something I don't see a whole lot of people carrying in their bug out bag, and that is a pen, a tactical pen in particular. And this one just happens to have a whole lot of features on it. I did a video on this one, uh, I don't know, probably three years ago. But this one is the SC Pen 4 from Schrade. This one has a whistle on it. It also has, unscrewing the wrong part there, a ferro rod on it and a striker strikers right here you screw onto the other end and you have a, a little emergency ferro rod there but also you know it's it's just a lot more durable it's going to hold up it's not going to break in your pack it's not going to leak a bunch of ink out anything like that so i think a tactical pen especially one that has this many features on it is a good idea to keep in your bug out bag now again this is going to be something that is subjective depending on your environment one last thing i almost forgot is it can be used for self-defense and there are other pens out there that are more geared towards self-defense so it's going to depend on what you think you want 
the tactical pen for what kind of uses you find more, most important what features you find most important and so i think it's a good idea to keep one in a bug out bag you might also just have to write down some directions or you never know might have to like write down your last words you just can't never can tell next up is wet wipes or baby wipes they're kind of one in the same this has a lot of different uses not only just keeping yourself clean you know if you're hiking a lot you want to keep uh everything cleaned up so you're not getting galled keep your feet clean so you're not getting uh as many blisters you're you know you got to take care of your feet if you're going to be walking a lot but also uh the ones without alcohol in them you can use them to clean your glasses if you didn't have anything else uh if you don't wear glasses you should take um, safety glasses with you in case you had to move through maybe some brush or something so you don't get poked in the eye in the middle of the night or whatever the case may be uh, safety glasses are a good idea if you don't wear glasses but also uh, once you get done using one of these don't throw it away it can be used as fire tinder it once it dries out it works very well especially if you put like some hand sanitizer on it or maybe put an alcohol prep pad in the middle of it and rub it around to kind of disperse the alcohol and then light it on fire uh, that will make it burn for a lot longer and help you get a fire going if you needed one but also these could be used in first aid if you don't have anything better you should be using the actual uh, prep pads if you have them but if you run out you know this is better than nothing so i think it's a good thing to keep in your bug out bag last but not least you guys probably saw this coming a good survival knife now a survival knife is again subjective but there are some key features that i like that some other people might not like uh, some things that i think are important that other people might not find it that way but uh, a couple things that I look for in a good survival knife is a good sharp spine. I don't really pref I don't really personally care if it's stainless or carbon steel. It will strike a ferro rod if it has a sharp spine. It has nothing to do with the carbon content. That is what flint and steel. That's people get those confused sometimes. But if you have a good sharp spine, you can strike a ferro rod with it. You can also uh, debark limbs or you can make uh, shavings, wood shavings for getting a fire started easier. Another feature that I find very important is a exposed pommel, something that you can uh, maybe smash some uh, nuts with it or you know like walnuts or acorns or whatever the case whatever's in your area uh, you can also use it to mash up some uh, tree bark to uh, break it apart and give it more surface area so that it'll catch a spark from a ferro rod or it'll just catch fire easier in general uh, another thing is i like uh, i think the garberg is a good survival knife just because it's nice and thick it's very tough very durable it's got a good weight to it but i like something just a little bit bigger nothing under five inches uh, i prefer this is a, this one is a six inch blade if you haven't watched my channel before this is the knife that i designed and had made uh, i need to do a little work a little tweaking on the handle but so far i am really happy with it and uh, that one's made out of 5160 uh, the garberg is a type of stainless i have a bunch of different knives you know there's there's a ton of different ones out there it all depends on your preference but those are just some key features uh, the reason why it's on this list the knife is one of the first tools that humankind ever came up with it's one of the most useful tools like i said you can start a fire with it you can cut cordage with it you can skin an animal uh so you have some meat uh you can uh you know carve i don't know maybe a fishing pole or a tent stake or there's just a, a ton of different uses for a good survival knife that i absolutely thought it had to be on this list even though there are a few things out there that have more purposes i think this is the absolute most useful tool you can have in a bug out bag so there is my top 10 multi-purpose or multi-use bug out bag items let me know what you thought let me know in the comment section below if you thought there was something that was uh missing from the list something i should have had on the list or something i should take 
shouldn't have in the list. Uh, let me know what you thought was more important or more useful. Uh, things along those lines. I'd like to hear back from you guys. So keep an eye out here in the next few weeks. I will be doing an update on my bug out bag. I haven't done a video on it in quite a few years so if you haven't seen my old bug out bag video i will leave a link to it in the description box i'll also leave a link to some of the stuff that i uh had like the tactical pen uh and you know just like the contractor bags if you can't find those they have a good brand of them on amazon uh, i'll leave links to that stuff uh down below as well as always i thank you guys very much for watching make sure you hit that like button i'm really hoping to try and get 100 likes per video that's one of my goals for this channel here in the near future and i got really close to it on my last one so hit that thumbs up share it on social media let your friends know about it and i really appreciate it guys see you next time